Oh, gourmet. Welcome back to Paris. Thanks. It's, not, it's good to be here. Thanks for having me. How's it, guys? As Saf said, welcome back to Paris. Let me taste these uh, loving oats with peanut butter, almond, banana, simonon, almond milk, and oats, of course. I'm just doing some editing, having coffee. Mmm, that was good. It was like sweet, but like a, a nice sweetness, not like a sugary sweetness. Mmm, thank you, Saf. Secret ingredient, you say? Well, with the way I'm craving another spoon, was it heroin? What's the secret ingredient? Honey. Thumbs up if you want to see it. Thumbs up if you want to see the secret ingredient, but I want to. Okay, there you go. <laughs> no, 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 no. The paprika. Turmeric. Just thinking of all the potential secret ingredients that we have. So I've just been editing the vlog the whole morning, and uh, say I've popped to the shops because two reasons. Tonight I'm making a vegetarian. It's like grilled aubergine, baked aubergine type thing. But before then, and soon, in the next 20 minutes, we're gonna leave to go for a picnic. We're meeting up with some of our friends who are studying here. Sav, where are we going? Jardin du Luxembourg. Jardin du Luxembourg. Uh, yeah, so we're traveling all the way to Luxembourg to go to the gardens <laughs> there. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys what Sav picked up at the market. I don't, I mean, some of these things are just gonna be regular groceries, but I'm just gonna run through the list for you. Uh, lentils. Grocery all, it's slice of mad. We got some feta cheese. The fromage casse blockies. That's, or is that two different languages? Two different languages. Uh, oh, you got a new iPhone with some headphones. Yes. That's cool. I'm not sure if I told you guys. I haven't actually told you guys on the vlog yet. Where is it? I am allowed to get distracted. So this is Sav's old iPhone from Cape Town. We once dropped it on the Seapoint Promenade. Both Sav and I, equally responsible. I'm getting a shipment of a new iPhone screen, battery and whatever stuff. So I'm gonna be doing some iPhone tech repair on the blog and I'll be doing a little review so that you guys can know exactly how good or bad iFixit is and how easy it is to do it yourself. Not sponsored at all, of course. And then let's see what else we've got here. Oh, these look like olives, eh? Yeah, from the market. These and look, they oh, and then that's hummus as well. They make their own hummus. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, let's see what else Sav picked up. What do we have? In oh, little spuds, potatoes, some fresh peaches. How exciting is this, guys? You get to go grocery shopping with us, but only for the exciting part and none of the actual shopping. So here's one of the aubergines. As I told you guys, I'm gonna do a roasted grilled aubergine thing. I'll tell you more about that later. We've got some peppers. And then this looks like a head of broccoli. We've got some of this barley. This is, it is barley, hey? The beer for me, for the picnic. Chickpeas, that's right. We are trending towards a more plant-based diet. Let's put it that way. Oh, we've got some peach iced tea. For the picnic, I'm guessing. Got some cumin, that's gonna go on the aubergines later. And then, what is this? Feels like it could be, yeah. That's why it was so heavy. A watermelon! Most beautiful thing I ever seen! So that is a wrap on the grocery shopping haul with Slice of Matt and Sav. Considering Sav did the actual haul, I just did the unpacking. But we're gonna get ready for the picnic and then head on down to the metro. And then Luxembourg, just to be clear. The Jardin de Luxembourg is not actually in Luxembourg. I'm sure there are some in Luxembourg, but these are ones in Paris. I'm waiting. How's it? And I'm the one that takes long. Right, we have finally left the flat after waiting for Sav. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna catch the metro. To which stop? Oh, it doesn't matter. No. Nah. Gracias. So the stop that we get off at is Dura Odeon. 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 One of my favorite stops. When we go back in, you'll see the uh, you'll see the multicolored uh, lights on the on the platform. Here we are, the Jardin du Luxembourg. Can you see it? This is it. We've come here before for a picnic day, but we are here now not for a picnic day, but in fact a picnic day. Over here, this must be the Palais du Luxembourg, considering there's armed guys outside, it must be a palace. Yeah, it's now like a Senate. Oh, so le Senate du Luxembourg? No, it's a palace, but it's it a was a palace, now it's used as like a Senate. 
Okay, so it's the, the Senate to the Palace de la Luxembourg. And here's our little statue of a guy reading poetry with St. Paul's Cathedral in the background. There's a little jazz band over there. I wonder if it's just because it's a Sunday that they're playing. Oh yeah, did we say that today is Sunday? Today is Sunday. So maybe they do little concerts on a Sunday. It looks like there's a crowd forming. And over there in the distance, you can see the walkie-talkie building with the sky garden at the top. London is really beautiful this time of year. Tour Montparnasse. Tour Montparnasse. Tip, you haven't done it with me, but you can go up to Montparnasse, it's the tallest building in Paris, and you get a panoramic view of the city. And it's great because you don't actually see that hideous building. You just see everything else. It is a bit of an eyesore, isn't it? I think we discussed this the last time we were here as well. That's how prominent it is. Unforgettable, some might say. And over there, you guys all know what that is. What does it say? <laughs> Great Parisian Lighthouse. Great Parisian Lighthouse. Sav's heard it far too many times and she's had enough. She's up to here with it. I just realized that I had not been showing you guys where we were sitting or what we were doing, but the majority of it was just catching up. But we are somewhere along here, just over there, just past the guy in the blue t-shirt. Exciting for me, but not very exciting for you, <laughs> just because we're just hanging out and catching up, meeting some new people and whatever. But uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the extent of it. I don't know what more I can offer you guys. That's our little party group over there. Nice little picnic. Watch out. So when we came, we sat on the... Are we not going that way? Yes, we are. Okay. We sat on the chairs back there. I'll show you guys now. But to come chill on this little grass patch, it's really nice. And there's trees and everything, the avenue. Look, I mean, look, you can see it's a trimmed, more trimmed than the side of my head, actually. Sav has been craving a hot dog the whole day. I'm kidding. She wants an ice cream. Which one will you get? Do you know? They've got these lions here. This reminds me of a lion that we have on the side of our house in Cape Town. And then we've got all these beautiful pink little things. You don't? No. Okay. Sav, did you end up getting ice cream? No, but we are on the hunt now. We are now on the hunt for some ice cream. But first, we're going to make a little tourist stop at... The Church of Saint-Sulpice. Le Church du Saint-Sulpice. Église du Saint-Sulpice. Everyone always goes on about Notre Dame. I think, personally, that Saint-Sulpice is more beautiful than Notre Dame, less touristy. And I actually think it looks bigger inside. And if I was you, I would rather go there instead of Notre Dame. You heard it here first. And this is it right here. The Leglise de Saint Sulpice. Oh wow! It's actually, I did not. Yeah, might be right. It is on Rue Palatine in the sixth arrondissement. We just walk right in the front door. Hello. It looks open. Oh wow! Oh my. So this is colossal. I know. This is huge. It's beautiful, right? And that too, yeah. Sorry, I was just amazed by the size. This is not what I was expecting. And people always say that Notre Dame is bigger than this, and I, I don't think, I don't, I can't believe it. Because I've been inside there, and I don't think that that's okay. This is absolutely beautiful. I mean, I do see that they've got a big organ here, but I don't think it's as big or as good as the Polish one in Gdańsk, or Gdynia, or Oliva. That is crazy. So unexpected. Yeah. I genuinely was not expecting it to be that big. So now I am also an advocate for what Sav was saying earlier. Saint-Sulpice, greater than sign Notre Dame, maybe. Yes, and no lines. Yeah, no queue. We walked right in and we walked right out. And there was free. Here it is. There's all of... The... It's just so big. This is the front. I guess we approached it from the back, which makes it easier to pounce on the, on the prey. Yeah, look at that. Massive. Saint-Sulpice, massive. That's what they say. Ooh. Hopefully it's open. Ice cream place that we're coming to hunt down is La Morino or something like that. But look at all these uh, posts. have all been painted red and with gold and eyeballs. Bistro d'Henri is down there. I can't see it. Oh, it's right. It's this one right here with the vegetation. And then here's the Amarino. Are those dudes? Yeah. But have a look what I was pointing out. All the eyeballs on the thing. It's quite cool, actually. Here we are. Happy with mm -hmm. your purchase? What did you get? Chocolate. You know, I like a little bit of chocolate ice cream. Mm -hmm. 
You do? I never get chocolate, mm. but this one just looked really good. Mm. I'm so glad that we got chocolate ice cream. <coughs> How's this dire wolf over there? Lady is very confident in the dog's training <laughs> for her to have a waist leash around it. But now, for the very French part of the day, we're coming to Marks and Spencer's food to get some tea because this is where they make the good English tea. This is the one we're going to go for, a decaffeinated tea bag. Are you sure it's the same like flavor though? This is what I've got before and it's the best one that you've had, yeah? Yeah, I mean, because it's strong, but I also drink tea before bed, which can usually put my sleeping, so... Yeah, so that's why we're getting her the decaffeinated one. And there we are, descending into the depths of the Mabillon Carly Kloss metro station. We have made it home safely, and so you can guess what time it is. Kind of dinner time, also tea time, according to the kettle. And I'm gonna start preparing dinner for tonight. Did I already tell you? I think I told them, hey? I did tell them. And now we're gonna see the difference. This is a store-bought aubergine, and this is a market-bought aubergine. So we will see which one is best. We're gonna do a blind test with Sav, because she doesn't know which one's which, so then we'll see if you can tell the difference. Yes, and the market-bought one was like organic, whatever. So what we're going to do to prepare them, because I'm not going to show you guys every step of the way because my hands will get dirty and sticky, we're going to slice them in half and dry them off, but I'll show you guys that right now. Now I'm not sure if I told you guys this, but I didn't actually like aubergine until recently, and a friend Pat showed me this recipe, so I can tell you where to find it, but basically I've never really cooked aubergine before, but I know from when my mom used to make osabuk, not osabuko, moussaka, is that it's good to dry out aubergines by putting out a little bit of salt, but I have absolutely no idea how much. So I'm just gonna wing it. And then we'll just let these sit for a bit and the moisture should be drawn out of at least the top layer. Sounds good enough. So if you have a look here, aubergines are already sweating. Yes. Nervous about getting cooked. That's right. So next steps once it's sweat a little bit, is you just want to get some cotton towel, paper towel, toilet paper, whatever you have, and just dab it off. Once you've dabbed off all the moisture, then you just cube them like this. And obviously I'm working with aubergines, but if you're working with eggplants, this would be the time that you would remove the eggs. So the next phase is that you make this disgusting little cocktail. A bunch of olive oil, two fresh cloves of garlic. We couldn't get chilies at the shop, so we're just using these uh, little sachets of like dried chili powder stuff that went in there. And then also ground cumin, you can use cumin seeds, whatever you want. I think that was it. I can't remember exactly. This is really a rough guide. And then that's gonna go on there. Oh. And once these guys are dressed and ready for the party, someone's gonna break the news to them that the party is in fact the oven. And then you put a little salt and pepper on them and get them in there. And they go into the oven for about 45 minutes at, it should flash and tell us it's around 220 degrees. I don't know, I'm just guessing that. But I know the timing and you just kind of monitor it. This thing doesn't really go on any timings because, I mean, look at it. So yeah, we'll just keep an eye on that and I'll show you guys how it goes. Otherwise, to serve with it, you can do whatever you want, but we're gonna do some of this ebly, actually it's like bulgur wheat or barley, what is it? I don't know, this stuff, okay? And the way that, oh, look at that sunlight, whoo, how is it? So let me, yeah, why not, there we go. And the way that you would do it is that you would normally make that or you'd make bulgur wheat or barley. Once it's done, you put in some soaked sultanas, a fresh mint, some fresh chopped coriander, and a lot of lemon juice, and, uh, maybe a little bit of olive oil or something. But yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna change it up to whatever's easiest. So I'll make that because that's only gonna take ten minutes or seven minutes. What did it say on the box? How's the sunset looking? Not bad, not too bad. Not sure if it'll pop off. It could potentially. It'd be really nice. Unfortunately, I'm not catching it on camera. Man, you guys know me. I love clouds. Whew. All right, so these are finally done. As you can see, hold on, let me put this on. I almost just grabbed this bare hand. He must be nuts. So this is what happens if you don't take the egg out before you 
No, I'm kidding. But so yeah, that's still quite a bit watery, but that could also be the oil because there was a lot of olive oil that went into this. Let me remember which ones were which and then I can serve them to Sav and she can try to do the taste test. We are just serving it with this stuff like plain. It's nothing exciting because we're actually not that hungry. We're just going to have one half each. We're not going to mission around trying to halve these and whatever. So I've separated two pieces out of this. Well, one out of here, one out of there. One of these is organic, farm fresh, whatever, whatever. And the other one is the normal. So Sav is going to taste them and tell us if she can tell which one's which. Wash it down with some iced tea. Oh, we've got iced tea. It's kind of warm though because it's oh, sitting no. next to the microwave. Oh <coughs> no. Chili really good. Back the day. There's the chili. Now obviously it's harder to tell because I took two pieces that kind of looked the same and there was no real control test or anything, but can you tell? Is that one the organic one? How can you point to what you've just tasted? You're supposed, to be, you're supposed to be telling by taste. The second one, sorry. The second one, the second one. was, yes, That's the, one the market in. one. We're just watching season two of Atypical. Let me actually pause that. <clears throat> what did you think of the uh, my aubergine that I made for you? It was nice. It's just that aubergine is a tricky, tricky vegetable. I was going to say fruit. You know, it was nice. Like, I ate it. You can see. I just didn't eat the skin. All right, that's a wrap from Sunday, Slice of Mad Sundays. Now it is bedtime, almost midnight. I'm getting into a much better routine of no phones in bed. I would recommend it. It's quite good, it's quite nice. Also, I'm getting to bed earlier. Even though it's late, it's earlier than I used to be getting to bed. So I'm, I'm working on it, you know. I'm practicing being an adult, which I feel like I should have started practicing a while ago. I will take you guys... Uh, not in the morning because tomorrow is going to be a boring day, but sometime soon um, I'll have something planned by the time this vlog goes out. So you will see something of me soon. And I'll check you guys in. Thanks, sir, for uh, an awesome day at the park with the picnic. Look over here, this way, over there. There we go. And now you're looking them in the eyes. <laughs> okay, I'll check you guys next time on Slice of Man.